I will demonstrate how to use the Arima using SPSS. So you can um, download this data available in the link description below. Datang ke channel saya kerja data online. Please consider to subscribe, like and share all our videos. We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge. Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara berbeza. Arima daily update tab. So this data is very useful in uh, in order to predict and also forecast what is the next numbers of cases that available uh, for the next few days um, based on the previous data that we have. Alright, so um, to run the Arima model, the first of all, you have to specify the status, date and case number and then you proceed with the analyze go to the forecasting create traditional models and then we need to define date and time so i'm going to use the weekdays and then it started on the uh, week number four and day number six so this is the standard because it is matched with the uh, data that already uh, being collected and also being uh, checked using the calendar so we know already the 24 january is actually friday and then we can uh, accordingly continue this uh, sequence because we want to predict until the week 16 and day number 3. So the next one, we use the analyze, forecasting, create traditional models and then we reset first. Okay, as default, the method will be expert modeler where SPSS will help us in doing the prediction and then insert the case, insert the dependent variable under the statistics you request for the display forecast and under the save button we request the predicted lower confidence limits and also upper confidence limits and under the option we specify uh, week 16 and day number 3 after that we are going to hit the ok button the SPSS are going to generate an output for us and also the data uh, is also being updated like this so we predict that the occurrence of the next uh, the next numbers of cases are actually around 173 where it's already being reported that 179 for today 5 um, April is actually these numbers and then the ICU is no changes and then the recovery is actually increasing uh, and then we can uh, proceed to rename uh, these models so after you rename this model uh, you can copy this uh, data back into the uh, Microsoft Excel to make a further prediction so our prediction is actually based on the 4 April okay and then this is the uh, lower confidence limit it's actually low for APR 20 and then this is for the upper confidence limit UP for APR 20. So there is a method behind the story of the Arima per se, which is the um, you need to specify it under the statistical package or under the statistical book. Uh, but to to give you some idea, this is our uh, data that we are going to copy. Okay, and then we are going to paste inside our um, database. So this is my database that already been created. Uh, since the beginning of the outbreak so I'm going to paste it here I'm going to name this one as pre 4 APR 20 this one is low 4 APR 20 and then this one is up 4 APR 20 alright so this data uh, further will be downloaded and then uh, being analyzed or being tabulated according to the appropriate uh, graphical we can tabulate the data that we already predicted before uh, to be inserted in our uh, um, Microsoft Excel so that we can make uh, further prediction based on this okay so um, I have the date here case here number of cases and then I also have the data uh, specify for the prediction uh, or the forecasting part of the data okay so I'm going to copy all this data and then I'm going to paste it nearby here so we got the real case, the predicted case, and then the lower levels, and then the upper levels where we, um, where we call it as the worst case scenario or uh, the best case scenario. So this is the 
letter prediction that already being specified here under the um, under this uh, ARIMA model they predict 173 so to conduct the simple uh, tabulation you can just highlight everything here and then insert for the uh, bar chart I'm going to use the bar chart because it is uh, make much more easier for us to make uh, some prediction okay so you can see that there is no data here uh, and then we can uh, further are going to specify the select data and then we go to the series number two and then uh, okay horizontal category axis level we are going to specify uh, similarly with the date okay and then we are going to specify also the y value as follows so this is our y values for uh, this data okay so we got this data and this data however we need to change into the uh, different kind of chart where usually i specify it under the um, line chart okay and the next one will be similar for our uh, next data where we uh, this one we call it as uh, series number two so this series number two perhaps we can uh, further specify it nicely by select the data and then specify uh, the series here okay the series number two is not being specified we put here pre for apr and then we can add one more we can specify this one as the lower lower means that the the lowest keys that able to be uh, forecast by our ARIMA model okay and then we can also insert another one which is the uh, worst case scenario that become our um, cut off where this one is shoot to that particular range or not okay and then our graph is already been predicted something like this okay. so to insert the lower range we can select another data here then plus we can name this one as low apr 20 and then we can specify it's okay just specify it under here uh, but it is not uh, representative in the other sense uh, will be described and discussed later on okay so to justify this one value perhaps you can just put it as zero because it is not make sense for minus than that okay and then you can just um, highlight this thing until 15 March so we can see that uh, this is the idea uh, of the prediction that we have for the ARIMA model okay so we got the uh, standard data 173 and also lower prediction and also higher prediction so based on this actually you can further specify under ARIMA model um, to to further give the ARIMA based on the different ARIMA arrangement because in our data set just now we specify using the ARIMA simple model so actually you can further uh, scrutinize this data set by analyzing the ARIMA model uh, using the uh, PDQ the ARIMA PDQ um, 111 for example okay first of all we need to set the data okay after you set the data then you can specify the analysis as follows forecasting create traditional data okay so under the expert model you can change into the arima with the criteria as one 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 okay and then we can produce a better prediction of the data that being specified here okay so this is the data that uh, already being indicated by uh, SPSS and then you can further put here as your data so this one is uh, RE111 low 111 and then up 111 so all these things are actually being considered under the uh, data for uh, until 4th April okay so ARIMA model to be plugged into our graph and then uh, it will be finished soon so this is the yellow bar indicate the upper level of 4 April uh, based on the simple expert modeler prediction 
okay the um, orange indicate the uh, expected numbers of reported cases uh, for this period and then the last but not least is the um, the ARIMA model for 111 so uh, to insert this uh, variable you can just set up here as a predicted arima model and then the value so for your information the value for the first one will be not available due to the facts that the uh, data uh, is being simulated based on the previous panel okay so this is uh, the arima model so i'm going to spell it as arima one 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 okay and then uh, this is for the lower part so maybe we are not interested into the lower part because in the end of the day we more focusing on the uh, the worst case scenario that can that could happen uh, in our prediction model so i'm going to um, take the upper confidence limit as the another uh, cut off indicator for our data set <laughs> Um, so theoretically speaking, we have the upper, uh, the UCL upper confidence limit, Arima one one one. So um, we have the worst case scenario that will be predicted, a high value of uh, cases that will be reported soon. Another one we call it as a recovery. So this is the recovery, uh, the predicted recovery from the five April data. So uh, inside my SPSS file here also uh, already indicate those uh, values so perhaps if you want to use it and you can use it uh, just to uh, make some sort of uh, very good prediction okay so we have here a prediction uh, based on uh, standard model and then we got a prediction based on the ARIMA model uh, and then we got okay so this one uh, is actually based on the arima 111 this one is actually arima 111 arima 111 okay this one is uh, lower value low arima 111 and then this one is upper value uh, arima 111 so this one is actually uh, wrong data because we should not take any pre any cumulative data we should have the uh, non cumulative data so this is the raw uh, predicted changes for recov okay so recov means recovery recov okay so this one is the low value low recov and then this one is upper recov all right so that's all for our data analysis in terms of the predicted data uh, for future until the end of the MCO hopefully uh, the occurrence of disease the changes and so on are, are based within our predicted values and line here as indicated in this uh, graph and soon it will be flattening and then uh, a lot of recovery will be increased all right thank you so if you feel that um, you need more understanding and uh, tutorial about this analysis please do comment uh, in the description below so that i can make a future uh, video review about the data analysis using sbss and also microsoft excel okay thank you bye bye Salam.